after Euclid's lifetime it would just be floating in space. What if future beings found Euclid? How would they know anything about the humanity of the people? People's fingerprints, they're unique to every individual. We like the idea of it being collaborative, sort of reflective of the Euclid experiment itself, like thousands of people coming together to make something. Yeah, this idea of the, of the many, many coming together to give shape to something. In the space industry, you don't normally take part in creative events like this, but when it's offered, it's amazing how enthusiastic everybody is. Once you get a group of people that want to do it, then more start to gather, the curiosity builds. It's very reflective of the actual development of Euclid. <laughs> you, know, really? you know, the idea starts small and slowly you gather people of interest in, and then yeah, you reach a critical point where people see, oh, this is something that's happening, I want to get involved. As I watched it being made, almost everybody who put a mark on it had a little grin on their face. A smile, yeah. Everybody caught the meaning without being able to completely articulate it. I wanted it to somehow represent the science of Euclid. Euclid basically is a galaxy imaging machine, so that kind of cemented the idea of the galaxy. As an individual, you've made your own imprint on this artwork, which is actually going to go into space. You know, I can't go into space, but I can at least make a mark that will. There's no tangible utility for us to be putting this in space. It's an expression. Maybe that's what we were trying to do with this, is to put an emotive element of ourselves onto the spacecraft. There was the conscious realisation as we were building this artwork that we were building something that is going to potentially be speaking to the future. When I think of the lure, the fly, the hook of Scorpius, the siren of space, I hear Beckett. It was not enough to drag her into the world, now she must play the piano. We must get our fingerprints onto the keys, paddle and daub the musical stave, get our notes, our marks into space, for the hell of it, for the ache of it, maybe for survival. We light out to observe the darkness visible. Our eyes are constantly falling like the moon, but at such a speed we orbit the visible, and at the pit of all the light that bathes us, we lust for true darkness, luster. But to see our opposable thumbprints on this craft, you will need ordinary, common or garden, standard, plain, vanilla, workaday, down to earth light to know these unique marks at all. And there is no such thing as unextraordinary light, ordinary matter. It's important to represent humanity into space. It is adding a, an element of humanity to a dark, vast space where as far as we can see, there's no other intelligent life. 